so this 9950 x3d do you think this uses more electricity than your ceiling fan have you ever thought about it welcome back to our channel we're going to be answering how much does your tricked out pc actually consume in terms of electricity and how much is it affecting your electricity bill spoiler alert this actually takes up more electricity than your ceiling fan yes it does so a 9950 x3d and a 1590 system sufficiently tricked out can draw anywhere between 750 to 1000 watts on full load now let us assume it's just 750 watts just for assumptions calculation bhi asan ho jayega yeah but before that your one ton ac actually consumes only about 800 watts so yeah your pc may be actually giving you a bigger bill than what you thought imagine you come back from work every day and you decide you want to play a couple of hours of doom maybe three hours of doom every day for 30 days guess how much that costs you 600 bucks 600 rupees for playing three hours of video games every day for 30 days now that doesn't sound much in itself but kya pata jab aap ghar pe nahi ho aapke bacche khel rahe hain doom 4 ghante daily guess how much that's adding to your bill another 600 bucks that's like 1200 bucks already hmm not sounding all that good does it you might be wondering how we got to that number you know without sounding boring the math is actually on your screen and yes this math is mathing it's true maybe in your city it might vary but in the city we are in shooting right now itna hi lagega 600 rupees 3 ghante har din 30 din productivity ke tasks mein kitne paise ja rahe hain aapke great question so if you're running an agency you probably need to back charge these costs but let me tell you like jo server grade data center level hardware hai this actually matters and matters a lot it matters to the point where large decisions on what hardware to buy are being made for example even the pro blackwell comes in two versions one 300 watt version another 600 watt version so yeah people actually do think about it imagine a building which has 106000 pro black wells 100 of them at 600 watt ab kya ho raha math math will not math math will not math anymore right so agar 3 ghante wo full load render kar raha hai 3 ghante mahine ka 600 rupees into 100 60000 rupees so just by shifting cards you can possibly just save 60000 bucks a month so yeah math math at scale so i digress <clears throat> so think about it this way a 20 minute render on 4900k with a high end gpu with about 200 to 600 total power draw you're looking at about 2 rupees a render if it's a 20 minute render only now imagine you're rendering overnight 24 by 7 socho kya hone wala kya hone wala math math is on your screen Mental maths weakness. I said, maybe Zuruti kya hai, AI sab karke de raha hai. All those watts are being put to use, bro. So let's extrapolate that. So rendering a 20 minute project every day for an entire month would cost you around 57 rupees, depending on your work. Now, that 20 minute Adobe Premiere Pro render is actually just like keeping your fan on for three to five hours or your TV for two to three hours. So yeah, shit adds up. And then math starts mathing. And suddenly, 10-15,000 ka bill hai. Actually, my wife was talking to my kid who comes back from school and starts playing Roblox the entire day until we allow her. And the way she got her off is like, you know, this costs money and it should be jal I was like, are you serious? That's so dumb. Then we did the math. Turns out my wife was right. <clears throat> now let's extrapolate that further. If you would render 200 minutes a day, just 200 minutes a day. That's three hours of solid rendering a day. It would probably add between 500 to 1,700 to your bill, depending on the complexity. I mean, of course, these are back of the envelope calculations. And the next time someone actually tells you, don't go for a higher card to save some bill, he actually has a point. That was us trying something different, trying to give you some insights on how much power consumption happens through your PC. I mean, if you don't have a 4K monitor, don't buy a 5080 or 5090. Like, 5070 Ti is saying power consumption will come. You probably end up saving what our calculation was that you will save for example, half the power. 
तो बारह महीने में छः सौ रुपये बचाते हुए पाँच छः हज़ार वैसे ही बच जाएंगे सो डोंट आस्क डिस्काउंट फ्रॉम योर रिटेलर जस्ट बाय अ चीपर कार्ड अल्टीमेट अल्टीमेट प्रोटीन But I think this video is really useful for somebody who's buying like bulk. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. And... Yeah, I mean, it 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 might not affect the regular home user, but definitely if if there's a if there's a floor space with two hundred people yeah. rendering stuff on a fifty seventy Ti, yeah. man, it's gonna make a difference. You're buying like video editing. Yeah, video yeah, editing yeah, yeah. Why does it go for a quarter? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Atomberg wala bhi fancy based hai na. Yeah. Atomberg wala guy goes to uh, big facilities. Uh, and he will say that if you buy a regular fan you end up paying this much electricity buy a bldc fan from atomberg you will save this much electricity that was his pitch yeah and then factory guy the wow yeah tera fan tera hi fan chahiye mujhe so yeah in conclusion yes this processor probably takes up more power than that atomberg fan or any other fan for that matter thank you for watching math is mathing math will not math anymore right math math starts scale math starts mathing